I have an extremely important video for you today, uh, but before we get to that, please like and subscribe. That's the most important thing. I need to handle something that's extremely important to me. <sighs> Look, here at the Linky Lefty 27, I strive to be the best possible version of myself. Best With that, I do make mistakes. And for that, I need to apologize. apologize. In a recent video, I highlighted a coworker, and I said that she is my favorite. Why is that, why is that not now I understand that this could be both hurtful, hurtful, and even confusing, confusing. to my other coworkers. Really? <laughs> and for that, I apologize. I apologize. I'd like to spend just a brief amount of time to make this right. I also filmed another coworker during this period. We'll call him the Big D. The and Big while sometimes D. an apology is not appropriate, this time it is. You see. The Big D is a subscriber to this channel, subscribe. and all subscribers to this channel Seriously. need to be subscribe treated fairly, fairly, ethically, ethically, with compassion and understanding. Compassion Big D was also hooked up to electrodes and also asked his opinion of what it felt like. What's your opinion? None of those clips were used in my previous video. They were that, used. I would like to apologize. And at this time, I would like to give him the floor to let you know exactly what his experiences were with getting hooked up to all these electrodes. Give him the so, floor. Big D. What exactly were your experiences like? It's like having tape all over you. Thanks, that's great stuff. All right, on with the rest of the video. This here is some extremely important information. It's gonna be dealing with Oscar data. If you do not have Oscar yet, I highly recommend you download it. It is free. It is available at sleepfiles.com forward slash Oscar. I cannot recommend it enough. On with the video. Hey there, Papper people. So I alluded to mouth leaking in one of my most recent videos. And I wanted to show you a little bit about what that actually looks like when you're looking at Oscar. Now, this is my Oscar data. Like I said in that video, uh, leaking, mouth leaking is, it's an issue that I struggle with constantly, which is why I'm kind of always looking for a better solution to it. So th this is a really, uh, this is a bad day uh, as far as leaking goes. You might be looking at the pressure. You see it's fixed at, at nine. It looks pretty good. It doesn't look too bad, but look down at this leak data. So every one of these spikes is resulting in an arousal. I can promise you that. If we zoom in on this one, uh, you can see this big spike. You can see an arousal is associated with it. Prior to this arousal, there's nothing. There's no decrease in airflow that would be causing an arousal. This is purely leak, leak arousal. So I'm gonna be waking up feeling like absolute poo on that day. Now let's take a look at this big leak spike right here. And same thing, big leak spike. But you can see that there is an arousal after that, this fast, chaotic breathing. I woke up, purely high leak. So for every one of these, this is disrupting my sleep. Let's take a look at the following night. This is November 19th, same kind of thing. This right here is a sustained leak. That's more of a actual mouth popping open. So I didn't do anything on this night to, to uh, either of these two nights to, to fix leak. I just let it be. And so you can see what happens. Here is leak spike. You see the spike right here. It looks like there's a pressure drop, causes that to spike up. You have that post arousal central, which is normal. Arousal, that's all we care about. Now that we can take this little tiny leak here, leak spike, causes an arousal every single time. Either the leak is gonna drop the pressure, uh, causing the therapeutic value of your CPAP to be lower than it needs to be, allowing an apnea or hypopnea to come through, or it's the leak itself is gonna cause an arousal. Doesn't really matter, you're waking up, it's screwing up your sleep architecture and you wake up and you feel like crap. Okay, so what did I do to fix it? Some of these nights I was trying Somnifix. I believe the majority of them I'm using Coverall and the two nights in question I'm gonna show you right now, I'm pretty sure I was using Coverall. Let's go ahead and look at December. So look at this, you can see there are far less of these leak spikes and this one is associated with me just going back to sleep. This one's associated with me waking up. Let's take a look at this one. A lot of these more or less, I remember my mask popping up. I'm trying a new mask and the mask is a little flimsier than I would like. And so I am getting some periods where the mask is actually pulling away. It's a nasal pillow mask causing me some problems. But you can see that the leaks overall compared to the other nights are far, far, far lower. So you can see there's still a few. I do remember, like I said, my mask popping off. But when compared to the previous nights, you can totally see there's an absolute massive improvement. Let's look at the 10th was another day. Uh, leaks throughout the entire night were really, really low, looked really good for the majority of the night. So on these nights, I'm just using mouth taping. There may have been some nights in there where I was using Fixident, like a denture cream to keep my mouth closed. I'll do a separate video on that because I'm pretty sure I was not doing it on any of these nights. The important thing though, the takeaway from this is check your leak rate. Your pressure could be perfectly fine. If your leak data is high and spiking like this, you're gonna have problems all night. 
You can see right here, it's more sustained. Yeah, I have a leak, but it's nice and level. It's constant. It's expected. The machine isn't having a hard time compensating for it. And you can see these periods here where the leak is a little more chaotic. Looks a little more chaotic up here in the flow. Now, looking through a lot of this data on Oscar is really important to try to correlate is a leak occurring before or after the arousal and what is the pressure doing at the same time? Sometimes pressure spikes or pressure uh, decrease, rapid decreases could cause problems as well. Uh, so it's really kind of important to look at everything as a whole and not just look at and focus on one single trend window when you're looking at Oscar. All right, that is my entire presentation. Real short, real sweet. Look, if you're having a hard time looking at this stuff, you're not really sure what you're looking for, please check out my website, axgsleepdiagnostics.com. You'll look for the PAP therapy analysis. Uh, I'll go through your data in a Zoom meeting. Uh, we'll try to make some adjustments to your pressure, make some adjustments to your leak, maybe some mass changes, do a quick mass fitting, all kinds of stuff we can do through Zoom. So don't feel like you're in this alone. I'm here to help. Uh, check out my website, axgsleepdiagnostics.com. And with that, thank you for watching. Here is a wild, lanky sleep tech, begging on the streets like a hobo. It appears his idiotic plan of doling out free sleep advice has not helped out his pocketbook in any way. You could help him out by checking out the links in the description box below. This includes an Amazon affiliate link that you can use every time you shop Amazon, Patreon, or PayPal donations becoming a YouTube member, or visiting axgsleepdiagnostics.com or maskbright.com. Though his idiotic plan is certainly not making him any money, he is still, clearly, a thick boy. Stick it out, even white boys got the shout, baby got back. Thank you to anyone watching this video, but an extra special thank you to my top level Patreon supporters and a low level. Thanks buddy to Stuart Hethington and Mona Swearingen. Thank you and thanks buddy. We attach electrodes to you. Anything uncomfortable with that? No. Yeah. But if he's asking for I mean, like, it's sticky, but... Sticky. Like, it's not uncomfortable, it's, 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 it's a weird feeling. It's a weird feeling as in, it's a bunch of... As in, if you're not used to being sticky, then it's a weird feeling. It's like having tape all over you, but it's not necessarily uncomfortable. It's just a, it's a different feeling. The main, okay, so the main concern with a lot of people is their nasal cannula. Mm -hmm. Does that bother you at all? Like, a lot of people say, I feel like I have a booger. I can't get out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can feel it, but it's not like, it's not like painful or anything. It's like... It's just like having a Q-tip, like a really small Q-tip in your nose. So it really just has a bunch of light so electrodes. this is like the only thing that you'd feel. It's better than the, the, the ones. But yeah, that's it. Anyway, thanks for doing this. It always sounds like fun until you do it. <laughs>